Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the channel. So I stumbled upon a really exciting research in the field of oncology recently and I wanted to share this with you guys. The scientists are working on a wild idea. What if instead of just trying to kill the cancer cells, which we are currently doing, we could actually reprogram them to become normal healthy cells again. And so this is a very intriguing idea to me and let's really explore it here. So here's the thing with current cancer treatment, right? You have chemo and radiation and they're basically like carpet bombing your body. They go after the rapidly dividing cells, hoping they hit more cancer cells than healthy uh, cells. But your hair follicles, right? They divide fast too. Your immune system, they divide fast too. Your gut lining, divide fast too, which is what leads to those terrible side effects. People lose their hair, they feel bad, they can get very severe infections and get really sick as a result of it. It is really frustrating that, you know, even after all these side effects, right? Even if you kill the 99.9% .9 of the cancer cells, that leftover 0.1% can adapt and come back stronger, which is why people can have relapses. So that's why this research becomes very promising is that instead of trying to destroy those cells, let's see if we can fix them and make them be normal again. This is where it gets really interesting. Every cell in the body, right? Brain, muscle, skin, they all started with the exact same DNA. And what makes them different is which genes get turned on or which ones get turned off. Cancer is basically when this system goes haywire, like a chef who forgets the recipe and starts randomly mixing ingredients. <laughs> Except these confused cells don't just make a bad meal, they multiply, multiply like crazy and then turn to tumors or hmm, can metastasize and cause devastation to the body. So the key insight here is that if we can find the genetic switches that control what a cell becomes, maybe we can flip those switches back to normal. Now, your cells have around 20,000 genes that are all talking to each other constantly. Imagine trying to follow a conversation with 20,000 people all talking at once. It's basically chaos, but this is where AI comes in. Researchers are building these digital models and they call them digital twin. I'm sure you guys may have heard of this, but basically these models act how healthy cells would act. And then they can compare them to cancer cells and by comparing them, find out what's really broken. Labs around the world, including some really impressive work at places like KAIST or KAIST, are using this approach to make sense of all of these cellular noise. And so what are they finding? For example, in colon cancer studies, they've identified some key players like the gene called HDAC2, FOXA2, or MYB. These control things like DNA packaging and cell identity. So when researchers mess with these genes in the lab, they, they're they seeing some really promising changes in how those cancer cells behave. Now, fully reprogramming the cancer cell back to normal, that's still a holy grail and we're, we haven't completely cracked it. But even getting cancer cells to slow down or act a little more normal in lab dishes, that's a huge progress. And this really could change everything. If this works, we're talking about a complete shift instead of a find and destroy method that we are doing right now, it could be a find and fix. So no more hair follicles falling out, nausea, relapse of cancer, severe infections, neutropenia, for example. But because at that point, you're not really poisoning the body, you're just reprogramming those bad cells. Plus, there's less chance of cancer fighting back because you're working with the cell's own programming and not really against it. And if we really crack the code for colon cancer, maybe we can work on breast cancer, lung cancer, I know blood cancers. Really that digital twin can tell us a lot about what things can go wrong and how to prevent it from going wrong. But we need to do a reality check here. So I have to be honest, and this is the early research, most of what I'm talking about is happening in labs with cell cultures and computer models, not real actual patients. There are still companies and research groups working hard to turn this into real treatments, but we're still a couple of years away, at least from these hitting hospitals or even being ready for that. But 
here's what's encouraging. The proof of concept is there. The cancer cells aren't necessarily permanently broken. And so that, that's a reversible process. In the lab, at least they can sometimes be nudged back to their normal behavior. Well, final thoughts for me is that this is probably one of the most exciting research, cancer research that I've read in the recent years. And the idea that we could maybe be able to reprogram cancer cells instead of trying to kill them it really gives you a lot of hope. And we're still a long ways away from I mean, it actually becoming practical. But the science and the AI, this is moving pretty fast and rapidly. And, and it's pretty promising. So I want to know your opinion. What do you think about this? Does this sound as promising to you as it does to me? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more updates on the research like this, please hit subscribe. As this is a our community. I would really appreciate if you enjoy this content to like it and interact with it, share it. So more people know about this as physicians in the field or any providers in the field. We want to stay ahead of the research and know what's coming out so we can help our patients better. And so like ma many of the other treatments that we've been talking about, cancer treatment is going to look very different in the future. And it's pretty incredible to think about. So thank you for being here and I'll see you guys on the next episode. <laughs>